Hey people, Zarthwomp here, and welcome to episode 26 of Super Mario. Last time, we entered the final chapter door and arrived at Castle Black, where we fought our way through the first area, and then fought O-Chunks. And then after the fight, the ceiling collapsed, and Bowser, basically, he wanted to sacrifice himself, even though O-Chunks was perfectly willing to give himself up to basically allow us to pass, but Bowser, he wanted to preserve his pride, so he's holding up the ceiling with O-Chunks, and they both ended up getting taken down. And then the second level, Mimi was trying to trick us, and then Peach fought Mimi, we also fought Francis, and Peach ended up sacrificing herself in order to save Mimi, or, well, so we thought, because, well, Mimi and Peach ended up falling down a pit, and now let's move on to the third level, and as you can guess, this level is going to be all about Dementio. Just Dementio, just Dementio, just Dementio, ju just Dementio. First Bowser and then the fair Princess Peach were lost the halls of Castle Black. Would they ever be seen again? Without his allies, could our hero Mario hope to stand against the evil Count Black? The very air in the castle grew heavier and even more ominous with every step. All they could do was plod forward in silence. Chapter 8-3! Countdown to Destruction! The power of the void is growing, I can feel it. The chaos heart is close now. The end is almost here, we must hurry. Okay, anyways, I- no! Thank you for the aim! Okay, nope. Okay, oh, give me away, give me away. No, I don't want that. Okay, let's get going. Yeah, I don't really need the experience, so it's all good. Okay, new enemy. This is our beast, it's called the Hogarhythm. They are strange on so many levels. Max speed is unknown as Hack is 4. It takes three stomps to finish off this piggy. But each time makes it smaller and faster. It's very hard to stomp the last one. Hogarithms often drop many coins, so if you want to hunt them, so you want to hunt them if you're broke. No, we aren't broke. We are actually doing very well off in terms of money, so let's just get going. Yeah, as you can see, we are actually cycling back. If you try to run forward, well, you're not going anywhere. As such, as such, going off of the puzzle. Off of the Lost Wood sort of theme that a lot of Paper Mario games likes, like to do. Okay. We have to actually go up here. Okay. Yeah, if you check the ground, they should have an indication. No, they do not have an indication in this room. Yeah, you have to actually go up here. And then drop down. This will take you to a new room. In this room, we have the only instance where you can actually title Dementio in the game. That's Dementio, a magician who works for Count Black. He's like an evil clown. He'll use many magic tricks, including making doubles of himself. It's hard to get read on this suspicious character. Anyways. Okay. That thing is a long dial. It can stretch beyond the limits of imagination. Magic GP has 20 attacks too. It likes to stretch its neck at enemies. They aren't fast, but they can attack a wide area. Be careful near narrow ledges. Anyways, can we actually counter Dementio's... Dementio's attacks? Yeah, you can use your... You can use Berry, but basically all it does is counter. All it does is just cancel it out. It's not like you're going to be... Well, you're not going to be safe. Anyways, go on this mirror. No more Dementio. But, we do have something that we're going to need back here. I think this is the- this is one of those scenarios where we get Idonian Ice Storm. Okay, anything else? Ah, I think this is the chest we want. Watch out, it's a Firestorm. Nope, Castle Black Key. Okay, anyways. Yeah, though, I could also just avoid Dementio's attacks by just doing this. Yeah, can't get me, Dementio! I have outwitted you! And I forgot to turn the timer on. 
Okay, mushroom. Let's go behind the stairway. Dodge away from you guys. And, and here. Okay, anyways, welcome to this room. Left. Okay, center. Oh, wait. Okay, so just let's fight these guys just so that we're rhythm. Left. I think the next one is right. Nope. You just have to hit one. Okay. Okay, let's get rid of you. I think the... Ah, no, come on. Okay, another one. Yeah, I think that there's a dud door. Okay, nope. And... Next one. Yeah, you don't want to go there. Instead, we're going to wait for these guys to respawn. Okay. That's Dashiell. Oh, uh, no. That's a yellow magic block. They are mad mages that live between dimensions. Max speed is 20 attacks 5. They only appear long enough to throw spells at you. They use magic, so I assume they are quite intelligent, but nobody knows for sure. Yellow magic blocks are known for their average HP and attack. Out of curiosity, could we... Okay. Yeah, we're going to want to hit one of these blocks. Okay. There we go. And... Another room. This time we're dealing with all three. Come on, come on out. Okay, that's not the one. Okay, is this the one? Just went in down this room. Go to the right, apparently. Okay. Let's head back out. I think this actually does fix the other door. Yep, takes us to a new area. Or, no, it is a trap area. That's a red chomp. This angry chomp is filled with an uncontrollable rage. Max speed is 8. Even attack is 3. Defense is 8. Even flames won't hurt this beast. Someday this chomp's red color sends for its urge to devour pizza sauce. Maybe someone let it loose at a sauce warehouse. Okay, boom. And there we go. Okay, I think that this actually does something in the main hallway. Okay. Let's go. To the left. Ever further to the left. Don't want to fight you. I don't really care to fight you. Yeah, sorry, but you're not getting me. Thank you, Dash. Ow. Ow. Ah, this is, that was not a good move on my part. There, you happy? Okay, I don't need coins. Okay. I thought I had the key. Okay, well now I now I feel like I got egg on my face. Okay, ow. There. Okay. Let's go down here. Okay, anything over here? Okay, I'm a little confused. Yeah, this section always gets me, always just turns me around. 
okay? Let's go. Okay. Just want to be sure that we're not missing anything. Okay, next room. This one. Left. Right. Center. Right. Center. Right. Okay. Let me just check the doors. Let me see the pattern of the doors. I think that you have to do it in the order of the pattern. Okay. Let's go over here. Okay, this will put us back here. Yeah, the door episode. Right. Okay, center. Okay, right. Right center right. Right. Center. Right. Right. Okay. Oh! Okay! I was, I was just unaware. Okay, center. Yeah, leave it to me to make everything a lot more difficult. There. Okay, I can't help but feel a little embarrassed because of that, but no matter. Let's go. Okay. With that door key at our disposal, let's head let's head over and make our way towards the end of the level. Yeah, there isn't actually much to this area. In fact, all of the levels in Castle Black are actually very short. Which is very fitting considering that we aren't exactly trying to lounge around and just soak in the scenery. We're here to basically get to Count Black and defeat him. Okay. Let's go. Okay, let's get up here. And... Doorway. Okay, hope you like the Lost Woods, because that's pretty much what this area is. Okay, gotta follow the arrows. Ow! Okay. Head on down. Okay, Boomer, you're gonna help me out. Boom. Okay, we're gonna head back with Luigi. Okay, head up here. Okay, we're gonna head up there again. Or maybe that was just telling us to go over this way. Ow! Okay. Okay, fine. I won't fight you. I won't fight you. 
Okay, door. Anyways, for the final room, we have another Dementio section. So, let's just do that. And here, and... Wait, that's the wrong mirror. Okay. I was mistaken. Okay, where's Dementio? Oh, right. yeah, Dementio's actually behind the mirror. He doesn't fire projectiles at you. He just is crowding you like mad. Yeah, and you can't tattle any of them. Yeah, you can fight him off with the hammer, but basically, you can fight him off with the hammer, you can fight him off with the boomer, you can fight him off with pretty much anyone. Anyways, classic blockade strategy. <coughs> Ugh! I felt the recoil on that sneeze. Oh, it burned. Okay. Thunder Rage. Thank you. Okay, where's the key? I know the key is somewhere in here. All right, yeah, right here. Castle Blood Key. Yeah, hidden right in the swarms of the Dementios. Okay, let's get out of here. Can't get me! Okay. Too bad we don't have Peach for this section. Actually, what I'm going to do is this. I am going to want to save the game. The reason? Well, there's another game over that's coming up. So I'm going to save the game here. Okay, good thing I decided to save then and there. <laughs> so, you've made it here at last. Oh, but what's this? You seem to be missing the Ravishing Princess and the Arm Flailer. Dementio, we don't have time to trade barbs with you. Move out of the way. Ah, I see. You're in a hurry. Allow me to get out of your way then. Just as soon as you defeat me, <laughs> you've proven to be worthy foes in the past, so I'm not going to take make it easy. You have to come and get me first. It'll be like a game of tag with magic. Anyways, we can't leave. Instead, all we can do is sleep. Okay, now get ready to see some familiar sights. Where are we? Well, we're back in chapter one. Look there! Yeah, anyways, we're back in chapter one. Ugh, just seeing the bright colors, basically. After being in the in the, in the the darkness of Castle Black, it feels good seeing these colors. Looks like it won't open. Yeah, you can go to other areas. Yeah, but as you can see, the void is actually much larger here than when we first were, than when we first arrived. Back then, there was no void in this chapter, but now, well, there is. And you're going to be seeing that for a lot of the other worlds, too. Okay. Jump. And your reward for getting over here. Sleep time. Welcome to Merle's Mansion once more. Is this Merle's Mansion? I guess we must chase him. Anyways, for this one. Okay. Yeah, we can't go to Mimi's Bank. Looks like it won't open. Okay, let's head over here. Nope, nothing over here. I think my disappointment. And go here. 
And look at that. We don't have to hit that block again. Okay, yeah, we're going to need to use... We're going to need to use Slim once again to basically bypass this. Okay. Just have to wait. Okay, there we go. And... Teleport out. Okay, let's get going. We can only use Thudley to attack in this area because we don't have Bowser. Okay. But we do have Luigi, so if we're on the ground, we can super bounce. Okay. Oh, didn't scan bloopers before. Okay, come on, let me scan. That's a blooper. This friendly squid. Eh, this yeah, this friendly squid that's trying to kill you. That's a blooper. This squidly foe happen happily bobs up and down the ocean. Max should be as one attack as two. It will try to eat you if it sees you. But I hear that it won't try to attack you if you stand on the bottom of the ocean. Okay. Let's grab. And there we go. Okay. Chapter 4 time. And the void is now in space. So yeah. Let's get going, shall we? Luigi time. Luigi didn't get to go to space, so darn it, Luigi gets to enjoy space. Okay. Oh, I thought we could do it. Okay. Fine, fine. Kill the fun of playing as Luigi in space. Okay. Boom. Take you both out. And let's get going. As you can see, the void is even bigger here. Yeah, this is not what we're looking for. Basically, that would just bring us up to the sign. But it is relatively easy to get down. So let's go here. And this is where the real void is. Okay. And of course we're sent back to the to basically the the barren void that is chapter 6. Okay. Yeah, we're going to just optimize our speed. Yeah, with this one, it can be a little hard to find, basically, the rift, because it blends in. Just listen to it. Listen for it. Okay. Where is it? Okay. Is it near? Ah, here we go. And let's go. And welcome back to the underwear. Okay. Dashel, you're coming out again. Thank you. I'll take that heal. Okay. Ah, oh, darn it. Thought I could do. I wanted to do my jump. I wanted to do the jump. Ow. Okay, let's head up here. I go. Okay, good, good. Didn't want to fall down. Didn't want to fall down. Okay, eh, jump. Thank you. I'll take that. And the vo and the rift is right here, right on the door, guy. 
So, let's go. Enjoying the game of tag. Hey, hey, stop messing around the fire for real. Messing around? Oh no, magic is no laughing matter. I am always deadly serious. Except when I'm not. I have been wa watching you. You are the only ones who can stand up to Count Black. So, I have a favorite task. Will you help me destroy the Count? What are you talking about? You want, me, you want to betray him? Betray him? <laughs> oh no, it is Count Black who has betrayed me. He said he would destroy all worlds and create a new perfect world in their place. But he was lying. He planned to obliterate every world and then keep them all in ruin. I have always known about his nefarious goal, but I could never hope to stop him on my own. I feign loyalty to him as I search for someone who could defeat him with me. Well, you see, that is why I rescued the princess from certain brainwashing. It's also why I sent you to the underwear to fix the broken pure heart. And why I freed a man to be reunited with his brother. Now do you see? You've been helping us all this time? Ah, you've got me pegged. Now, how about you return the favor? I'll give you the power you need to count crush black. Count, crush Count Black, just bye by my side. Sure! Mario, wait, are you sure we can trust him? I, I don't know if you be if I believe all this. Oh, so you believe them, so you doubt Dementio, but yet Mimi is impersonating Merlin and Merly, and you're instantly on board with it, whatever they're saying. So basically, Mimi could convince you, Tippy, to commit war crimes if she was disguised as Merlin. Hey, Mimi! Hey, Tippy, hide these bodies that I killed! Don't believe me, but trust is what is. But trust, it is the tasty pace that holds civilization together. How does this strike you? Defeat the count and I will give you a very rare god. Does that entice you? Yes. He's lying. I can feel it. He's trying to trick us and use us for his own ends. You are like a sad Amiga sack that is deflated and lost all of its trust. Perhaps a side bottle of my fragrance, demented by Dementia, will sway you. Frankly, why Nintendo has not capitalized on that and created their own Demented by Dementio perfume or cologne or whatever? I am just shocked. Frankly, I would I'd be tempted to buy a bottle of Demented by Dementio, to be honest. People will stand in ovation whenever you enter a room. Now, will you buy with me? Sure. Mario, who do you trust, Dementio or me? Well, me, well, Tippy, do you have a cologne? I won't warn you again. If you say yes once more, I will not be able to save you. You will be that psychopath's partner, for better or worse. You are the hero. Are you going to let a little butterfly? Are you going to let little butterfly minds influence your decision? What will it be? Will you help me face Count Black? Yes. <laughs> Excellent choice, Mario. You are wiser than you look. Ah, uh, bro, is this really a good idea? I really wish you hadn't done that. Goodbye. Yeah, some friend, you are tippy. You just fly away. You don't even try to convince Mario. You're just like, you said yes three times. I washed my hands of you. Now, let me give you a taste of my scrumptious power, just as I promised. That sucking sound is your free will being plunged from the toilet of your mind. Now, you are my slave, and you will do my bidding. You will be fearless. Go and defeat the Count, and when he is gone, I will create a new world. <laughs> Again, for dramatic effect. <laughs> That's right, Dementio brainwashes Mario and Luigi and basically sends them to do his dirty work. Anyways, I'm going to cut over to us actually being faced with the choice once again. So with that, I'll see you in just a bit. Okay, we're back. Anyways, this time, we are going to refuse Dementio. We're going to refuse Demented by Dementio. Still you refuse, but this offer, it drips with generosity and colognes. With the chaos heart in our hands, we can rule every world. Do you still refuse? Forget it. 
So you spit upon my offer, you have wasted my time, and for that, your game ends. I think I'll start with the green one. The shag upon his lip will make a fine trophy. Shag! This mustache is all Luigi! And it's all ugly! Leave this one to me, bro! You run ahead! You all got work to save! You don't have time to fight this buddy! Don't let Bowser and Peach's sacrifices be for nothing! Or mine either! Besides, he made fun of my sass, bro! You know I'm sensitive about that! Oh, that's the only thing you're sensitive about? Not the whole, oh, you live in your brother's shadow. No one knows your name. The fact that you slide when you run. How do you slide on solid stone? Let me at him. Run for it, bro. Thanks, bro. <laughs> How tender. I just squeezed at a tear. Yes, Mario can run along. And if he somehow manages to defeat Count Black on his own, all the better. And so I strike like an unseen dodgeball in an echoing gymnasium. Anyway, Cementio. Yeah, you're going to want to hit him whenever he's going around. Anyways, he'll clone himself. And he'll even try to use some attacks that, well, we've seen before. Well, one of Dementio's attacks is that basically he will try to trap you in the same sort of box that he used to send us to the underwear. Though, thankfully, he won't send you to the underwear. He'll just do a decent amount of damage. And you won't be able to avoid it if you're trapped within. Thankfully, it's very easy to dodge it. You just run aside while it's forming. And in fact, you can actually use the box to serve as a platform to reach him. But yeah, just super jump Dementio and jump in whenever you see him. Yeah, and you also can't tattle Dementio during this fight, as you can probably guess, because you don't have the pixels. No! I... I cry, Uncle! Mercy! Uncle, I say! Had enough, Dementio? I didn't need my superstar bro to take you on. I... I see that now. Your power is formidable, which is exactly why I can't let you fall into Count Black's velvet lined gloves. What, what are you doing? <laughs> I have you now, Luigi. We will both taste the agony of game overing by magic. No, no, no! Ciao! Luigi! No, it can't be. But Luigi... You're right, Mario. It hurts. But you're right. We must grieve for him later. We have to stop the count. Okay, anyways, it's just Mario. We've lost a character for each level. And now, for this final level, it's actually gonna be just Mario. Anyways, for the time being, end of chapter! Okay, anyways, I think now would be a good time to end things off. Anyways, I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do as you want. We'll see you next time. Bye.